Member-elect Munson, thanks for joining us. Thank you. The last couple of months must have been a whirlwind for you. Can you describe what it's like running for the House and ultimately winning the election in District 23B? Well, I mean, running for the House uh, for me was, uh, I mean, in a special election, I think it's going to be different than most people's experience, but in a special election, it was a nonstop. Uh, it happened, we declared uh, right before Thanksgiving, so we had the holiday Thanksgiving. Uh, for me personally, uh, my dad found out he was uh, battling pancreatic cancer and ran out of options. So uh, just two weeks into running, had to make the decision whether I was going to continue or, or uh, drop out. Um, but I decided to keep with it. And uh, my dad, unfortunately, passed away right after New Year's. So uh, that was really tough because it was a terrible holiday uh, and really busy. And, uh, you know, spent a lot of time at his bedside before he, before he died. Um, and then, uh, you know, right after that, hit the campaign trail again really hard. Um, so it was, for us, it was nonstop, seven days a week, you know, 16 hours a day. Uh, and we were not, you know, I've not run a campaign before. So it was, uh, you know, really limited resources, trying to get volunteers to help. And uh, my wife and I were, you know, really committed to doing this. And why did you decide to run for the House of Representatives? Well, I, I, I care a lot about politics. Uh, about what what the, I the government's impact on people's lives, and uh, it, you know, I was really frustrated with government's involvement in healthcare about you know eight ten years ago, and so uh, became more active in party politics because we had rep you know Republican representatives and uh, senators in my district, so uh, we didn't you know there was nothing to run for, so uh, I became active in the party, out talking to voters and getting people you know engaged in politics, and then uh, when when Tony Cornish uh, resigned, then and this is it. I, I know the issues and I think I'm the, the right person for the job. On your campaign page, you've said that you're not a career politician. Are you ready for the challenge of coming in mid-session and hitting the ground running here at the Capitol? Yeah, I mean, in, in, my, in my day job, um, I come into a new business, a new environment. I get to know new people, get to know a new process, and uh, try to figure out you know, to really jump in and drink from a drink from a fire hose. So I'm used to that type of environment to uh, to get up to speed quickly and, and to be effective. So that's what I'm ready to do. A Mankato Free Press story in December said that you served as chair of the Minnesota First Congressional District Republican Party. How can previously focusing on getting someone elected to a seat in Washington D.C. help you as you take a seat in St. Paul? Well, I, I think that the uh, being the first district party chair. It uh, wasn't just about uh, electing someone to federal office. It's about going out and talking to, to voters and, and making sure that our, elect, or our, our person running is, is knowledgeable about all of the issues on the ground because that's really what you need to represent the people. And so we're out talking to voters, uh, organizing picnics, and talking to people about the issues that are most important to them. And that's, uh, and that, that's what gave me a great base of knowledge for, for being a good representative for my district. You said if elected, you would fight for what's best for the people of your district. What kinds of issues are important to your constituents? Well, I think the, the number one issue in my district uh, right now is health care. Um, it's the number one issue for small business owners, for people that work for small companies, uh, for, uh, for, for even for employers who have to pay a high cost of insurance for their, for their employees. It's actually the number one agricultural issue if you talk to farmers. You have quite a diverse background, a business consultant, farmer, um, working in real estate, husband and father of two. Can you tell us how your background will influence your approach to politics? Well, I, I know a lot of the agricultural issues. I know uh, especially the financial part of, of farming because my wife and I were, were uh, planning on being farmers. Um, so we went through and built our business plan on how to get into that business. And uh, we, we reached you know, a hurdle of uh, the land cost for us was too expensive. Uh, but we, we understand all of the inputs and, you know, working full-time farming for two years with my in-laws. Um, I know the process and can speak with farmers about um, the issues and the regulations they face. Um, for real estate, I understand the, the, the pains of real estate taxes. Um, so we, we understand a lot of the, the same issues that farmers are dealing with with their land. Um, the building codes, um, kind of overburden some city regulations. Um, See, and then as a business consultant, I help companies comply with regulations, both federal and state. And so, uh, again, that uh, gives me a good, a good grounding for what government does and how we influence business.